Look at the root keys. Hi. Come on. I left them in the house. So, morning. This fine cold morning. Um, busy morning tomorrow. morning. Get my own drinks. Come back here with more drinks. Drop them off. Go to work, basically. Because uh, we've got the tree man coming today. He's going to cut down all the trees. But since me and Louise aren't here for him doing it, we feel really bad. So I'm going to go and, you know, just um, grab him some drinks. So just like a cup of, like a 12 pack of Coke or something like that. And just say, and leave a note saying, you know, since we're not here to provide you with teas and coffees and stuff, you know, drink up. Back from St. Greece. Have all the things that working men need. Okay. I'm going to leave the camera here today in the hopes that they come while Louise is here and Louise can push record on this thing and get a shot of them. So, I'm on the old camera phone now that I've left the camera in uh, the house. Can you see my friend? Can you see him? Hello. Hi guys. I'm Dave's new friend. Tonight, today, this week, I am making a conscious effort to eat better, eat healthier, etc, etc. So, to that end, I'm going to have breakfast. They're not the best breakfasts in the world, but I really don't want to have to cook like an omelette every morning. It's too much effort, and I don't want to have to smell like cooking in the morning. I've got a bottle of water in the back there. That's the water. And let's hope that the tree man gets there at half eight so Louise can film, because I'm a little bit excited to see how what the, how the, the garden looks without trees. So, see you in like six hours. <laughs> Hello. I have just walked for about half an hour in the pissing down rain. So I look and feel like a rat, like a drowned rat. But now I'm gonna go back home and we'll see how the tree man is doing. Right. Still chucking it down even in Wrexham. I'm here now. I've come to view. Oh, it's so muddy. I've come to view the new garden, basically. There's no trees! Look at it! Look at how big it looks! How brilliant this is! And that's been chopped down! So that, that's one less thing to worry about. Now... I'm going to be picky. They did say they were going to grind down the stumps. They don't seem to have done that. I don't know if they've just you know, had to abandon it because of the rain. So... <laughs> yeah! Look at this! When the rain, when the wet, when the weather picks up, I am totally going to show you this properly. But right now, I'm going back inside. I bought myself some sushi, so you're gonna see me eat that in three, two, one. Okay, camera's charged back up. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go pick Louise up from Slimming World. And she's gained this week, unfortunately, south of her. Ooh, crap, I'm wearing my backpack. We're going to go to Tesco. I'm going to work very hard on getting eating back, in under, back under control. No more chocolate fondue, basically. So, let's go buy some fruit. Good morning. I've just yawned. If That's the reason why I look so tired right now. I'm on the hunt at the minute for more A3 card. Staples apparently don't sell A3 card, which I thought was weird. So now I'm going to go to Hobbycraft, which is that way somewhere. I have to find my way there. And then I am going to see if they have A3 card. Okay then, back in the house. Stuff has happened, things have been bought. <clears throat> I need to organise. I keep walking in and seeing this massive table worth of stupid bloody Pokemon cards because I keep forgetting that I need to sort them out. I just can't be bothered anymore. I'm just looking at them going, no, just be sold already. No, no, thank you. So now, my phone needs to go over there. Now, ugh, I have been craving mac and cheese all day. I know we've got it in. Because I bought it. So, and um, now I'm going to have mac and cheese. I'm going to tidy up a little bit. Have some mac and cheese. And then get on with the business of the day. So 
decided to go and walk to pick Louise up. She wants him outside time, so I'm going to walk her home and hopefully that'll get that out of her system. I'm just walking past the back of the house. Look at all that. Look how clear it is. There's still a lot of, you know, junk there, but hell, we can clear that. <laughs> Easy enough. We just need to get something for it. I don't know. We need to see if we can clear those concrete posts or put new fence panelling down in front of them. What would be nice is if my dad came back from Spain, Alan came over and the three of us did like a male bonding thing. But what is this you see in my hand I hear you ask? This is a surprise for Louise. Hey Squish. Hi. Why don't you open up the present I got you? Yeah. They feel like testicles but they're not. <laughs> There's, there's trouble. Troubles are brewing. Run, woman, run. Yeah, I got you the nice fancy apple. I had one, so you could eat seven. I, you could eat the other seven. Naughty! Why? Because we're trying to live healthier, and you're trying to, you're melting a marshmallow. We're supposed to be making Tureen a nice healthy dish. Instead, she's got her hands on marshmallows. Taking them away. I'm putting them with the Twinkies. And the jelly babies. Ooh. Stop it now. Because it's hot as hell. It's so naughty. Downloading updates. We'll be back as soon as it's not. Yeah. Tell them what we found. Jump, 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 jump. Oh my god, he's so little. Look how long his tail is. He's wild, mussy. Ah, oh, it's a good shot. So, we're downloading so much update that we only got to play one level before our food was ready. So, here is the food. Ooh, we're going to eat that. Then Louise is going for a bath, and I'm going to play with Pokemon cards the rest of the night. All of it! Yeah! Um, num, 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 Okay, back in the house and I've even changed. Got to charge up this camera though, so no more filming anything until until that happens. We're going to Josh Rokes because I need to go shopping for a Hindu outfit. I've been told to have something black, which will not be difficult for me to find. And then I need a new fleece. David's new fleece because he's an old man. Hello, I man. Me fleece to keep myself warm. Hello, man. It's Over cold me. in my office. So we've come clothes shopping. Let's go and have a look at new, new look for weeks. Yeah. So impromptu sushi session there. Of course, we can have sushi. It's Josh Rokes. We have to. I, yum, yum, yum. I ate all of the salmon skin roll, <laughs> literally all of them. There was another customer next to us who asked where the salmon skin rolls were, and then the chef said, Oh, there's definitely some on the belt. I just put some on before. <laughs> I ate them all. There were seven, and I ate them all. You ate six. I ate six. <laughs> you left them. I let them go through one. I let one through my clutches because I was so full. back home. So now it's time to tidy the house. Oh 
Okay, I don't know where my stand is, so I may be shaking a little bit more than usual, but I have to go back to Sainsbury's. This will be the third time I've gone back, and the reason is because I'm printing out wedding invites, and I keep running out of ink, and it's so annoying. So now, I'm gonna go back and get more ink, and it is so expensive. Stupid ink. Fighting the hiccups. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. So, back in the house. Yeah, window. Now I have to print out some more wedding invites because my goal is to get them done by this weekend. But I also want to tidy up. Like, I want to do a bit of a deep clean. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Come here. There we go. Yeah, I want to do a bit of a deep clean. But Louise is going for a dress fitting tomorrow. So, I can do most of the deep cleaning then, when she's not here. So, for now, it's going to be mostly printing off. Okay, I just had a quick impromptu trip to the farmer's market because I basically I'd ran out of apples and I wanted more before like the season's over and I get fewer and I get like you know crappy apples <sighs> talk a lot about apples that squirrel is coming down the fence oh he buggered off sorry I'm getting easily distracted because there's a there's a there's a squirrel just kind of playing in the garden I really wish that I was a much more popular channel and only because the farm shop down the road, literally like five minutes down the road, just needs more attention. I went in basically for this bag of ready goodness here. This, this is what I went in for. These are my apples because they are the best apples in the entire world. Even though I've just dropped one, it's probably going to bruise. And I went in, I was like, ah, screw it, while I'm here, I'll see what else there is. So I bought some duck eggs because. I don't know why I held it like that. Because, you know, I, I think I've only ever had duck eggs once. And I can't remember how they were, so I'm going to try them. And, you know, still good protein. And I thought, oh, Louise likes the mangoes. And this giant mango was a pound. So I was like, I'll get that. It's, look, it's almost as big as the melons. That kind of looks rude. And it all came to, like, I don't know, £4.60 or something like that. And I had a £5. And I was like, I ah, just keep the 40p, I don't care. And the guy went, no, 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 no. And he ran into the shop and he came back and he just threw in my bag a tangerine and two plums. So who does that? If it was just like St. Bruce or Tesco, they'd go, thank you very much, and just leave it at that. This fella, he throws, granted, this plum is very, very squishy, but I think that's more the bag ride that it's just had. Same with this, actually, I don't actually know how plums are supposed to be. The tangerine looks good, but yeah, who does that? No one does that. Oh, hello, bright lights. Hi! The reason why I've got my hand up like this, and the reason why Louise looks like this, is because I was opening a tin of ham so that we could make... It sounds so stupid when I start the sentence like that. I opened a tin of ham, and uh, so we could have more terrine, and the piece of metal strip slipped and cut my wrist. Quite... It's, well, it's not super bad, just that. It's, well, on camera, it's just a red line. Looks like I've drawn it on with Biro, and um, and then I fainted because of standing up and sitting down and like blood pressure and stuff. I am still manly. I just I just passed out a little bit. And who caught you? Louise caught me. I'm very proud of Louise. <laughs> She's my lifesaver. She's shitting bricks. I'm fine. I fell for an ambulance because <laughs> he fainted after cutting his wrist. Yeah. You're gonna have to have an emergency Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> you get some blood sugar. Oh, get me one too. No, you're not allowed to eat. What? Why can't I have a Twinkie? I'm not a Twinkie. Oh, that's bullshit. I'm not, I'm not going to eat any. I'm not going to eat any. I can't have a Twinkie, any. bitch. I don't know what to put on you because you don't have Baby, it's not even bleeding anymore. It's fine. Wait until if we have to go to the A&E, yeah. it's fine. But yeah, now I have to wait for uh, Louise's mum and dad to come to get me because I can't. Sorry, 
drive uh, myself. And we're not walking because I might faint again apparently. I won't. I definitely won't. Yes. I feel like I've like woke up just fine now. Put this on it and then wrap this round? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not well I am first aid trained, but I don't know. Do I need to It's not look, it's basically healed and like Wolverine, it's done. All done. Do it just stereo pod you? Well, that you'd have to put on a cloth, and once it's on a cloth, it's not sterile anymore. I thought you just wash it over like that. You can, but it means I have to get up and go into the kitchen again. No, I stand Yeah, there we go. Not without other supporters, I'm going to have to again. <laughs> right, so now we're just going to wait for Anne and Alan to come, <clears throat> and then we'll see how we go from there. Good morning. We're all fine now, just in case you're wondering. Louise is fine. I'm fine. And it's uh, today Louise is going into Chester to try on her wedding dress, get some fittings and stuff done. Yay! So I'm going to be left to my, back to my own devices. So Louise is going to be taking the camera with her because she's going to be a lot more interesting than I am. If she remembers to use it. Otherwise you'll just see me on the phone going to the pound shop getting some first aid stuff because we are woefully inadequate. Ooh. What's that? Ooh, what's that? Sky stuff. Sky stuff? Oh, I know what this is. It's because Kung Fu Panda, they were offering it for free. So yeah. I downloaded it for free and now they sent me a free DVD. <laughs> got a free DVD of Kung Fu Panda! Woo -woo. Okay, yeah. Um, first things first though, we've got to go to the, um, the post office again. Mm -hmm. It's Louise's fault this time. It was mine last time. I need the keys so I can lock it. Thank you. Yeah, and um, now we have to go and pick up whatever it is. We're hoping it's my wedding ring. My bitch box. It's either, yeah, it's either that or Louise's birch box. So we're hoping it's the wedding ring because that involves both of us. <laughs> birch box doesn't involve me, you know, in so much as I bought you it. Back to the post office we go. What is it, Squish? A little note. What's it say? I can't read it. Hi, Louise. Thank you for something. For buying this ring from us. Oh. Squishy. I do! Yay. Ah, that's a big ring. It's nice. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Beautiful. Yeah, you can't see it, the camera's not focusing. <laughs> that's my wedding ring. That's my wedding ring. But she's got hers at home. We could put them on. No, it's stay. it wants to stay. No, it wants to stay. So we've just been for my dress fitting and at you. Cheshire Rose, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And she looked absolutely stunning. <laughs> my beautiful, my beautiful daughter standing next to me. I nearly said beautiful bride then, but she <laughs> said that quote on camera now. But never mind. Hey, she looks yeah. stunning because it, it, it's big for her. She needs some taken in. But it was nice to see it fitted all round her this time. Yay! Hey, hey. Beautiful. I brought Mum up to the clock tower because she's never been up here before, and oh, she's amazed. Oh my god, how amazed am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go film some people for you. <laughs> 